This is Mr. Burley at the York Catholic District School Board. In a previous lesson, we used AutoCAD and we drew a box that was 1700 millimeters by 1700 millimeters. We set the center as zero, zero, and then we proceeded to draw a house with a garage. You can use this tutorial for any number of drawings and do the same idea, but what we're going to use, we're going to use VEX VR, which is the online browser based for software put out by VEX. Currently, we're going to use the drag and drop block format, but later on, we'll use Python structured text and uh, in, in subsequent later later lessons. But for today, we're going to start off with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the playground for a second, and I'm going to show you grid grid map. And this is the grid map here. And what it'll do is it can drive around this grid. And if you look and you see this grid is actually, well, it's 1800 millimeters by 1800 millimeters or 1845. And what I drew is I drew 1700 just to give the robot a spot to turn around. Because if you go too far forward, it won't be able to turn around because it knows that there's a wall there. So I'm going to use my drawing from previous. And this is my zero, zero. Your robot is down here somewhere. So I want to draw this in this box. So this is the exact box that you're seeing here around there. So the, what we want to do is we want to send the robot to this point. Well, this point is a measurement. First of all, we have to turn the robot to the right or we could go up, but we're going to turn the robot to the right and we're going to come over to this position here and we're going to turn it to the left and we're going to come up to this position here. Once we get to this position, we're going to lower the pen down and we're going to start to draw that. So to get that to this position, what do we do? We're going to have to take some measurements for starters and it's easiest if you write this down truth be told let's go over the distance first of all let's measure from here over to here notice it's 221 millimeters by decimal 5738 so let's hope I can remember that smart people would write that down 2215738 so you come into the software and we're gonna go first of all we're gonna turn the robot to the right you can do this one but I personally like this and you don't really need this in the way at the moment. You can bring it up in a second. So we're going to turn it to the right and we're going to travel the robot to this distance here. So we're going to turn them to the right and we're going to move over to this position here. And we've already measured that at from there back to here at 221.57.38. 221.57.38. So we're going to drive it forward. I'm going to get rid of that little 221. Uh, forgotten already so see like I said a smart person would have written this down and I'm probably gonna pause the book tutorial and go back and get my book 5738 so decimal 5738 so now it's gonna turn to the right and it's gonna travel forward that distance I didn't set a speed we can set a speed if we want to come up here we can set velocity into here we can set it to 100% or whatever we like and let's just test it for now, just to see what it looks like, just to see, are we even on the right track? Is it going in the right direction? It's a smart idea to do that, right? So hit the play button, it turns, it moves forward. Perfect, right there. Now I am gonna stop this little mouse thing because I think it might be a bit annoying for people. Uh, so no clicks. I don't want any clicks. How do I make sure it doesn't have any clicks? No clicks, just a classic. Make sure that's correct. Okay, so we did again. We turned it over to there. Once it gets there, what do we have to do? Well, we have to turn it left and head up. So how far up do we go? Well, we know we're here somewhere, so we got to head up to this position. So let's measure that. Measure that from there down to the box. And we got 281, 2727. 281, 2727. So what are we going to do? We're going to turn left. for 90 degrees. We're going to drive forward. And it was, I believe, 281 decimal 2727. Is that right? Hopefully it was right. Yeah, and I was supposed to go get my book, but I did not do that. 281 2727. Okay, here it is. So we can test it again right now, or we can, we can say, hey, you know what? We're pretty confident. So once we get there, let's just show you where it gets to. Whoop, stop, rewind, and go. So it's going to turn to the right, turn to the left, move forward, and it's going to stop. 
Another good thing to do while you're programming robots, robots are physically moving. So while this is just software and this can stop on a dime, zero or one, robots don't do that. They have inertia. And so what you do a lot of the, a lot of the times, if you want real precision, what you can do is you can put a stop driving in between each of the commands. What that does is it stops the robot, lets it settle, and then you can continue on. That gives you a much more precise. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but down the road when you're going to work on your robot and you want thing, picking up things and, and going to right, the right position, that's what really helps. Okay, so now we go up to here. Uh, where are we at here? Here we go. So we are going to, the first thing I do, I should have done up here, is I should have set this at the very top, and you can do that now, and you just say pen up. By default, it is up. But it's just good to know that the pen is up before you start doing this stuff, right? Just to reset it, just in case. So then what we're going to do is we're going to set down into here. I'm going to set the color to black. You'll find none of these other colors work. I don't know why. Maybe it's my graphics card. You can try it and see if it works on yours, but mine doesn't. Uh, so set it to black. Maybe, I, maybe it's because I should have set the robot color to black. Let's try this. Let's go set it robot pen to black. I didn't try that one last time. Let's go green and see what happens. And so move the pen down, should have been on top of that, right? It's green. And then once we get there, it wouldn't have done anything. We've got to travel up to that position right there. So let's measure that position and say, how far is it from here to here? Well, you can see it's 700 because it's already at that position, right? So we're not we're not basing it from from zero here. We're basing on it where it is right now and where it's going to head to. So it's currently sitting here. We want it to move forward another seven hundred and twenty five point six eight five. I'll never remember that, but let's go for it. Uh, so let's come up here and let's grab a drive forward here. And I don't care if I didn't remember is it from there. I'm already there, so I want to go there. Seven two five. 6853, 725, 6853. Okay, so it should move the pen up, set the velocity to 50. It should turn right and travel across there. It should turn left and travel to this position. It should then put the line, the pen down, set the color to green. These two should actually be the other way around, but it probably doesn't make any difference, but This one technically should be on top of that, right? So I'm going to do that first, and then do this. Set the color first. All right, let's have a look and see if it works. So, oh, let's rewind it because you got to start from the beginning. And so it comes across, pen down. Oh, green, there you go. It's working. Okay, so we've got... We've got to the top of our house. Now we're going to get into some angles. So we're going to go from here up to here. We are currently sitting right there, but we got to go to that position. If we were working with just X and Y, we could say go to this position. It would create that angle, but it's not. We're not doing that. We're working uh, in steps. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to say what angle. We want to set the angle. So let's see what angle that is. So I'm going to put a little line from here up to there. And then what I want to do is I want it, the robot's facing that direction. I want it to turn to this direction. So I want to see what that angle is. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to angle. I'm going to measure from there to there. And you can see it's 50 degrees. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up here. I'm going to turn the turn right. Because I'm turning right. And we're going to go to 50 degrees. So, and then we're going to... Okay, so we set it to 50 degrees. So it should get here, it should rotate to 50, but now we have to give it a place to go. So where is it going to go? Basically, how far forward is it going to go? So we're going to measure the distance from here to here. And it's 494.5427. I actually went and got my book because I can't remember these numbers. Sometimes I can, but... Okay, so now we're going to travel it forward, drive forward here. So... Again, pen is still down, drive drove forward for that much, so it stopped here. Then it's going to turn 50 degrees, and it's going to then travel up to 50 degrees at 494.5427 millimeters, okay? So we can test it and just see. You can test after each line, or if you, 
a little more confidence, you can you can program a few lines and then come back and check it after that. Okay, so there it's at the top of the of the thing. Just uh, for one moment in time, I'll show you. So this is the coding, the drop and drag and drop coding. And if you go over here, this one right here, you'll see the Python. And for those of you that are familiar with C++, with the other have ever used C++ that like we do in the robotics, you can see Python is much cleaner. No semicolons. It's it's a much cleaner look to it. Uh, we'll be doing that shortly. So now what we're, we're at the top of that house here. And now what we got to do is we got to turn and come down this way. So we got to figure out what angle we're going to turn here. So we're sitting facing that way. We got to turn that, figure that angle out. What is that angle from there to there? 100 degrees. So it should from here down. Is that right? 100 degrees. Let's have a look. I'm thinking no. Uh, so we're going to turn drive train, turn right 90 degrees, change that to 100. And and we're going to travel forward exact same distance, right? Because the house is the same. So we could just we could come up here. The length is the same, or we could just grab this guy, bring another one down, and type in 494 decimal 5427. And that should be the same distance, right? I'm not sure my angle is right. I think our angle is wrong. 50 degrees, way too far. Nope. Yep. That's wrong. Why is that wrong? Hmm. What did we do wrong? Well, let's have a look. Let's go back to here. So this is 50 and it came to this position here. And now we want it to turn where it's facing this way and we want it to turn and face this way. So is this the angle we want or is Let's, let's bring that line, continue that line straight out the same as it is right there. So really what I want to do is I'm going to draw a line from here somewhere, just like so. Then I'm going to trim this line and extend it to there because that's where we're actually drawing, right? So now really the angle I'm interested in is from here to here. So why didn't that angle work properly? What were we doing wrong? What was I doing wrong? So I'll show you what we were doing wrong. So <clears throat> when it's sitting here, it turns 50 degrees and it travels to this position here. And then it's facing this, this direction. It's got to rotate around to this direction. So we need the angle in here. So when I was doing the measuring, when we're doing the measuring, it's not giving me the angle I want. So there's a couple of things we're going to do. First thing I do is going to annotations, standard annotations, manage the styles. And in here, we're going to go modify and we're going to make it larger. So you see where it says text. When you go right now to make it, to do that, to do it, it'll be so small, you won't be able to see it. So let's go to set it to 15 millimeters text height and click OK and close it. And now what we can do is we're going to draw a line up here anywhere. It doesn't matter where. And we're going to use this line to extend this line to it. So now I'll be able to get this measurement, this angle from here to here. And if I come up into here under dimensions, you can see right there, there's the angle. It may not be set. It may be set up to, to linear or something else. So you set it to angular. And then what we can do is we can come in and we can go from here to here and you can see it's 80 degrees. Okay. So it's 80 degrees. So let's go back. We don't need this stuff. We can, we're just, I'm just using construction lines every so often and you can, you'll be doing this as well. You can't delete this one because it'll delete the whole roof. So instead what we do is to come here and we say trim, trim it off and we'll go back. So we're going to, we're going to turn our robot to 80 degrees, which I've already put in there. So now let's test it and see what it looks like. It, sh it should come up. Okay, perfect. So now we got to rotate it again, right? We have to, so what's the new angle? We are now sitting here. 
we're sitting right there and we want to rotate to this angle. So we want to face in this direction. So how do we do that? 130 degrees? No, it's not going to be 130 degrees. It's going to be the difference between here and there. So as we bring that line across this way. Do anywhere like so. And we trim extend it to there. So we're going to turn from there to here. So that's the angle we're interested in turning right there. And we might be able to do it with this one. No, it's still giving me the outside. I think we can go in and change the settings, but I'd rather just go like this. Then I know we've got the right angle. And it's 50 degrees. Well, I guess we basically knew that from before, right? So it's 50 degrees. So I'll leave the overhang on the roof. Should have done that anyways. No roof ends like that. It always ends out here, but nevertheless, so it's 50 degrees. So now what are we going to do? We drove forward to there. We're going to right turn. Same thing. Am I turning right? Yes, I'm turning right. And am I going 50 degrees? That's correct. And when I get, once I do that, then I'm going to drive forward again, back down to how far down am I going to go? Right there, there's exactly the same value, right? Because I'm going back down to the same spot I started from. So I should be able to just come in here and paste that. And when I get there, then I'm going to turn right again, right? Oops. I'm going to turn right again for 90 degrees. That's right. And I'm going to travel back to this, this spot I started from. And where did I start from? I started from, uh oh, did I make a mistake there? Let's see. I'm going to copy the wrong one. Copy the wrong one. So that was the very last one I did here. Turn 50 degrees. And so what I will do instead of going there, I'm just going to say, well, how far do I have to go? And I can just measure it really quickly here. Measure distance from there to there. 725. So I'll write that down. 725 decimal 6853. 725 6853. So if I come back into here, I go 725 millimeters, decimal 6853, and we want that and test that, and that should be correct. And then we turn right, and we're going to go back to the initial starting point. Looks good. Turn right. Now we're going back to the initial starting point. The initial starting point is here. So we'll measure that from there back to there. And it's 758, 758 decimal 7865. Back to the thing here. And we're turned right. When we turned right, we're going to drive forward. And we're going to go drive forward 700 and 58 decimal 7865 millimeters rewind it and let's see what that looks like and that should give us our house so what you'll do now is you continue doing this very thing make sure you save your file and show you that in a few seconds how to save it because there's a lot of work goes into this and you don't want to, your computer to crash or right? then you may need to start finish it tomorrow right so Perfect. So now you could change the color. You could move back into a new position. You could draw your door in a different color. You can do anything you want. So you can use this file here, the one we used initially, or like I said, you can draw your own. So now to save the file, you come up here, file, and you can save your file to your device right there. So save your file to device, and you'll see where it goes. It should go in the downloads directory. Um, so you should be able to find it if you go into downloads. Uh, here's where my downloads is right there. There's mine right there. And then tomorrow you can open it back up again. Or you could save it into your, your, your Google uh, Drive as well. Okay, thanks for watching.